What's poppin' guys? My name is Zach Hecknotechna here, and today I'm going to be talking about my favorite Call of Duty Zombies map of all time. This actually came from Black Ops 2. It is the second DOC map that came for zombies. It is called Mob of the Dead. I really love Call of Duty Zombies, but this one in particular, I will be talking why it's my favorite and a lot much more. Also, if you want to see a review on either Black Ops or Black Ops 2, let me know down in the comments. Now this is Mob of the Dead. As you can see, it starts with a cutscene. It's, it's really cool. It's set in a prison that has been overrun by zombies. So it has a really cool backstory to it. And it's actually pretty unique because as you see I saw it like as a ghost. So instead of there being quick revive like there is in other Call of Duty Zombies maps, there's actually no quick revive but every round you are able to send yourself to the afterlife once. So you theoretically could die a lot more than three times. And it's just really cool. This actually... I hate to say it, but this was, it led to the death of zombies, in my opinion, the death of Call of Duty zombies, as the zombies crew actually didn't work on this map. The campaign crew for Black Ops 2 actually worked in the zombies map. However, that's why you could, well, that's why you could see it is completely different. However, just because that happened and it's created by the campaign crew it doesn't mean it's bad like i said it's my favorite map of all time but again i really didn't like origins at all and that was also made by the campaign crew uh the next one that came buried is probably my second favorite it was made by the typical zombies crew but ever since i was young i've always had a fascination with prisons i don't know what it is it's just I mean, it's just really cool to learn about prisons and how their lifestyle and the people. It's just, it's really cool. So I've always just had this weird fascination with prisons. And when I saw that this map came out and it was a prison, it was, I, I mean, I was mind blown. It is just really cool. So I've always had a fascination with prisons, and this map is well put together. There's new perks like Electric Cherry. As you can see, you could turn yourself to Afterlife. There's, it's innovative. There's no quick revive. I mean, it completely changed. So, yeah. Now let's see if I can open up this. A lot of these things, there's doors in this game that you actually have to go to Afterlife to open up. Which is pretty cool. Um... There we go, now I just revive myself, and as you see, you get uh, one of those per round. So you, I had, you start with three though. This is the showers. And another thing I love about the game is that you can actually go to Alcatraz Island. You could build an airplane, and you could fly out and go to Alcatraz Island. I remember playing this game when it first came out. I mean, it was really cool. I think it was in 2012. I mean, I remember going to school, coming home, and it was like, I need to play this map. Because I've always been fascinated with prisons. I just found it so innovative that you could actually get out of the map in this game. I mean, you could actually get out of the map. You could build a plane. And everyone was speculating what that would mean. Like, what What do you mean we get out of We go and get out of this island. Does that mean we survive? We What happens? So, I mean, there was so much speculation going on. It was just, it was so cool. Although, really, all you do is, it's just like a place where you could pack a punch. That's all it is. But it was cool because there was speculation and you didn't know. Let's see. This uh, gun, MP5, I really like this gun. So, yeah. I just love this map. The other maps, great. Black Ops 2 is definitely also my favorite Call of Duty of all time. It's not even close. But the zombies really is what does it for me. I absolutely love Call of Duty zombies. It is such a great franchise and map and all of that. It's so good. 
So over here, the infirmaries upstairs, the warden's office, citadel tunnels, the showers. This is actually cool because you could feed like this guy zombies and it's actually a hound. The hound comes out once you feed zombies. So let's see if I could get that over there. Also, my TV cut off a little bit to the left, so I'm actually on round two. Don't know why it does that, but yeah, so you could also, as you could see, there's pain parts, there's shield, acid gat, there's also a key to get in the warden's office. So it is pretty cool. Let's see if I can find where the zombie is. I just cannot find this guy. Huh. Yeah, that this is the problem with zombies. Sometimes I just cannot find these zombies. Where the heck are you? Oh, this is also uh, a map. It's really cool. Has the checklist of where you need to find stuff. Has the es quote unquote escape plan. When you go is to get off the island, however, you actually don't end up end up going out of the island. You just go to uh, the bridge. Alright, there's a zombie. Alright, so let's show you guys what happens when the hound eats this guy. Okay, so he comes out and boom, starts eating him. And now round three. So yeah, definitely let me know in the comments your favorite uh, Call of Duty Zombies map. Also, you could let me know if you want to see a Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2 review, which I most likely will be doing. And then maybe if you guys even want to see a full gameplay as opposed to just like a preview, also let me know in the comments too. So I'll probably play one more round, but I'm going to feed this dog real quick, guys. Ooh, we got a nuke. I'm not going to be using that. Oh, man. And also, I don't know if you guys know about this, but if you throw grenades down in here, you get 20 points. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we will open this up. Down here, that's you. These vaults, you have to... Put yourself into afterlife mode to get into. So I'm going to put myself into afterlife mode and open this. Okay, so I'm going to jump up here. This is where the key is to get to the warden's place. This is how you get into the warden's office. The keys needed to open various things. You also electrocute these zombies. Pretty cool. So I'm going to pick myself back up. I'm going to grab the key. This is the warden's office, as you see right here. You could open that, but there's something. Oh, there's the box. The box also looks new, which is really cool. Yep. So let's see if I can hit the box once. There is a minigun in this game. Very cool. And I died, alright. But there's a minigun in this game. It's very cool. I like it a lot. There's a lot of... There's the blunder gats, acid gats you could upgrade. A lot of different, different guns in this game. It's pretty cool. Okay, and I'm dead again. Well, this is an awful area to be, but... Okay, and that's an RPG. That's not... Not an ideal weapon, but I guess I'll take it. And I'm most likely going to die, but it's alright. Yep, and I died. Survived four rounds, but... This is, I guess, a preview. Maybe a little bit of a review of my favorite Call of Duty Zombies map of all time. Mob of the Dead. And as always, catch you on the upside.